Good afternoon. Thanks for joining me today. Bear with me while I get it pulled up. Okay. So today is the fourth Thursday of the month. So that means we are doing my one little word project. Um, so I also recorded a video or a Facebook live earlier for my February coffee and cards. And that is up on my YouTube channel. If you want to watch it looking for a card video today, but this is my one little word album. My word this year is hope. So for February, the prompt was vision board. So I didn't, I don't really have a lot of room on my walls. And um, so I decided to do my vision board inside my album. So I just did a bunch of pages and I'll show them all with you. Um, nothing's really changed since other than my new pages. So like all this is the January prompt, which I showed you. So this starts February and I just took the three by eight page protector from um, Allie Edwards. I cut the cardboard. When you get a package of designer series paper from Stampin' Up! It comes, hold on one second, I'm trying to find one. I've taken most of them out of my cardboard, card stuff, or design series paper. Okay, so this paper is the Fine Art Floral, and you'll see on the back, there's this piece of cardboard that tells you that the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper, the item number, what colors coordinate. I take that cardboard out of my packs and set it to the side okay and then what I did was I cut it at three by eight so it would fit down in this page protector then I took my field and flower designer series paper that I'm using throughout this album this year and I covered it I added some white uh, basic white um, linen thread that comes from the snailed it bundle that we have available the February came from um, the Ali Edwards one little word kit. So I'm going to, I, I want to put a flower or something here, but I just hadn't figured out what I wanted to do yet. So then I took the same chipboard that comes in the designer series paper and I covered both sides of it with the same designer series paper from the field and flower. So I did that. These are every month. They'll be like, they'll say the different months and they'll have an embellishment here. And then I'm, I'm planning to do another a quote on each of the dividers or a picture. So this time I chose this picture, this quote, I mean, it's called, it says, hope is seeing the light in spite of being surrounded by darkness. And I just screenshotted it. You can see, I literally just screenshotted it and sent it when I got my pictures printed. Okay. So this was one of my vision board. This starts my vision boards. So I took, this is called the, the this white, this is the basic white piece of paper and it is cut from the. Uh, tasteful. Oh, I knew I was gonna forget the tasteful, timeless treasures or something like that. Framelits, and then I cut out the hope. This is like I said, I told you last time. This hope is retired. It's from um a, a bundle that was retired, and I kept it so I could. Uh, and then I dug it out of my retired stuff when I decided to use hope as my word this year. So then I went, so this background is crumb cake cut at six by eight. So then I went through all my chipboards and I found things, um, that like bring me hope. So hero, um, it says be happy now, rainy days, just love, love us, re joy and relaxation, family adventures. Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all the darkness. Home sweet home, the hard part and the easy part, family and friends. So this is all things to bring me hope. So then on this page, I did a six by eight piece of the designer series paper, Field of Flowers. Then I took this picture of my husband and I put it on there. And these are three heart stickers from Allie Edwards and they say love. And it says this life. And then I just journaled the, my, my greatest source of hope. And I, the hope, this hope comes from the touch of ink. Um, there's a hope in here and I love this. So I've been, it's only good. This, you can only get that for free with a hundred dollar purchase during celebrations and celebrations ends on Sunday, but I will still be using that hope throughout my album. But it says my greatest source of hope. You give me encouragement, love, and bring me joy. 
And then on this one, I took three pictures of my flowers. I love pineys and we have them. My husband has planted different colored pineys all up the left side of our driveway. And so it says Mayflowers, gotta love this. And then I just punched these with the two inch circle punch. And then I took the two and a quarter and matted this one. This is an Allie Edwards card. It says life is tough, but so are you. Take it one day at a time. And then this is a picture of my husband um, after he had his open heart surgery. And it says, thank you for your love. I simply cannot imagine my life without you. And it just says, love you, best ever. And then I did a, I hope you can see this. So this is a, a selfie of me. I was in the truck and waiting for my son to come out and I just snapped a selfie and it says never lose hope. That's an Allie Edwards card. This is another one. It says at the end of the day, all you need is hope and strength. Hope that I, it will get better and strength to hold on until it does. And then over here, I did these, this is my husband and I, and it says hope for many more years together with best friend and my hubby. Then this is my son, Zach, and I did just, I always tell him to be kind <laughs> and uh, just be nice and be kind to people. And it says, hope for you is a bright future and to have lots of love in your life. Then this, I got um, top in sales in my, um, I sell Stampin' Up, of course. And um, I, so I got top in sales in January. So my upline sent me this, congratulations on top in sales with a little goodie. And then I added a picture of me at a craft fair. This is from 2019, but because I didn't get to do any craft fairs last year because of COVID. But I wanted to include that. And this is my hope is to continue to grow my Stampin' Up business. And then this I did, I just did a white, basic white, um, three by four card and I put finding grace in the middle of the journey. And then this is my favorite tree in my front yard and it's winter. So I took this picture and I said, I don't love winter cause it's cold and stuff, but I just love this tree. And it, and I try, and I almost always take pictures of it in every season. And so this is my winter picture and I do love that this picture. It's my favorite tree. And then this, I just took a four by six card and I put hope with uh, pink ABC letters. Um, I don't know where I, they were just a sheet I had. Um, and then I put rainy days, joy, happiness, slow down and savor the moment, more sunsets, afternoon strolls, breathe, chilly mornings, something wonderful is about to happen. Do what you can with what you have. And so it's just little quotes that I found on my um, Ali Edwards stickers. So that is my vision board month. We get our new March prompt. It could, she puts post the prompt on the first of every month, and uh, and I just take my a time during the month and take pictures or find pictures that I want to include and create my projects or my pages. Um, I've already <laughs> covered a second album because I know I'm gonna have to do six months in one and six months in the other because I am doing a lot of pages and inserts and stuff, but I'm loving it. I have to say, I absolutely love this. And um, the vision board is where I stopped last year because I didn't want to put a board up in my room. And so this year I'm like, nope, I'm not going to let this one stop me. I'm going to do it. And I did it as pages. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of my One Little Word album. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will talk to you soon.